Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Student Stories um, Ambassador interview series. We're just going to talk a little bit with our student ambassadors today about studying and how they manage their time whilst at university. So hi guys, thanks um, again for joining us. So just talking a little bit about sort of studying and managing your time. Now, university study is a bit different, isn't it, from being at school or college? Um, so yeah, so there are some adjustments that I imagine you guys have had to make. So. Um, Gemma, should we start with you? How did studying uni differ from what you were used to beforehand when you were doing your other qualifications? Um, first of all, if you don't if you don't do the work, no one's there to pester you like you need to do it. So it's very easy to fall behind. You've really got to be self-disciplined with that. And another thing I found was, especially at A level with maths, you'd get the questions, you'd get like the exact same exercises and it was easy to find, but then you come to uni and you've got a whole library full of books and you're like, okay, well, which ones do I need to find and which ones do I need to use? Um, but your course is really good about that and they have um, like a, a list, a library list, so you can go and get the books. But that was definitely the most different thing for me, yeah. So that was a bit kind of self, you had to be sort of quite self-motivated to go and search out what you needed to do and where to find the resources. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jenny, Jenny, how about you? If you've got any um, uh, insight into how you found it different, perhaps, or what and what you did to kind of manage your time around that? Um, yeah, I remember in A-levels thinking, I didn't think university was going to be easy, but I remember thinking like, oh, it's only one subject, like it can't be that bad at the moment. I'm doing like three A-levels, but actually it's not, that's not the case because you have your different modules. So at the moment, I think I have like five modules um so you still do need to put in a lot of work and it still is hard work um so I'd say the thing that I found stopped me from getting overwhelmed at the start of the year was just putting together a to-do list like I've got a app on my computer um and I just have one for each module and it just helps me to organize um, my time organize every task I have to do and it's just really satisfying ticking it off as well knowing that you've sort of you've finished your work and you can move on to something else yeah definitely no that's a really good advice there just about keeping it clear and, and managing your time and yeah I'm a bit like that I quite like to to work visually and tick things off the list it's quite satisfying as you said um Amy how about you was it different to you know when you were doing your um BTECs was it you know did you how how was it structured as well is it different like are you in university like every single day from nine to five yeah, no, definitely not. I remember looking at the timetable after leaving college and thinking, oh, it's only eight hours a week, brilliant, all, all the time I can spend doing what I want. But it doesn't really work like that. It's a lot more independent. So when I was at college, I used to try and fit all the work in between like nine till three, and then I could go home and not worry about it. Whereas yeah. uni is a lot more independent. You have to be probably stricter with yourself, I would say, to organise yourself. Because I know a lot of people on my calls aren't, and just go to the things on the timetable and forget about all the little extra bits. But they definitely add up. So it's definitely a learning experience. Yeah, definitely. I think that's really important, isn't it? That like university is set up, you know, you have your key contact hours, but a lot of the onus and responsibility is also on you to kind of go and do that research, which again is another reason why it's so important to do a subject that you love, because you're going to have that natural passion and motivation to do it. So yeah, so that's great. Thanks, guys. That was really um, insightful um, into how, you know, you manage your time and how different university is to perhaps your former qualifications. So thanks very much and we'll see you soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye.